Hi friends, it's been a while since we've done a video like this. Too long. Like a Sorry. very long time. <laughs> oh yeah, this whole room is different, but you don't know that yet. Oh. There will be a video where I will explain that. Spoilers. Now. We've been getting just like a shit ton of questions continually about poly stuff, and so we figured we'd start answering some questions. So uh, today we're going to talk about adding a third to your relationship. Because we're experts. <laughs> well this is still new for us. I mean, yeah, we've engaged in... Uh, outside partners in our relationship, but never to this extent actually bringing someone on in, into the relationship. So this is still new territory for yeah. everyone involved, I think. Did you know you wanted to, like, be Polly? Because no. I did not. Well, I did not either. Yeah, was it like week two? I was just like, oh, by the way, um, just want to be straightforward with you because <laughs> I see myself with you, you know, for a while. Um, I'm not gonna say that I can solely be with one person for my whole life. I know most people that say that end up cheating on the person they're with because they, they're not truthful with themselves or the people around them. So I was just like, I was just like, I don't wanna cheat on you, I don't wanna hurt you, and I want it to be a healthy part of our relationship instead of like a negative stigma. Because mm -hmm. it normally is. Right. Right. Well not respect to that, just seeing I mean Two, in our situation, I'm Jacob's first boyfriend, so I mean, I also kind of knew, not that he hasn't kissed other, you know, men before or been intimate in some what? capacity. Who told you? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> I mean, I understood that I probably wouldn't be his one and only or like one and everything type of thing, and I'd understand that natural curiosity, I mean, even I, who had at least been in a few more longer term relationships with some other guys, you still sometimes always do wonder, you know what I mean? And I, I don't, I think everybody has felt some sexual desire for someone else that they're not with. And with us, it was definitely more like communication based and setting, not really a precedent, I guess, but at least just being known that, hey, I, I might be open to exploring things further, you know, and other things down the line. Are you okay with that? Because I want to make sure that if I'm investing time with you, that that's something you're open to doing mm -hmm. and trying as well. Yeah, and at first, Kyle was not on board. He gave me this look that was like, oh, oh God. And he was like, can this be in the future? Like, not right now. And I was like, no, of course. It was years, years into it when, before oh, so we started. Someone else. <laughs> before we started bringing in people for like threesomes. Okay. It took a lot to get to that point. A lot of talking, a lot of, you know. Well, just making sure you were comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. For us too, it's just you have to make sure that you kind of set your boundaries, set your limits, so that you're both on the same page about it. And so that way you can at least go into it with the same expectations, at least as close to the same expectations as you can. Mm -hmm. And in our situation too, it was with people we had already known for, for years. So it was just, it was, it was entrusted. So it was a very comfortable situation for us to, I think, experiment. You're gonna have sexual feelings for other people because you just like, if you're a sexual person, like you experience sexual attraction, just that's going human to happen. Mm -hmm. The difference is like, whether you whether you hide the fact that you feel like that with from your partner or whether you like share that and discuss it okay. and like it doesn't mean it has to lead to anything necessarily no none of us have ever really had a problem being like oh they're hot yeah, <laughs> yeah. like talking about that that's it's a very it's a very healthy thing to do because everyone thinks that everyone walks past someone that they're just they're just like damn Damn, Gina, damn. <laughs> the thing that separates our relationship from some, maybe some other poly relationships, I don't know, so once again, we're not experts here, but is that we are a, a closed poly relationship. It is now us three, and that's it. You know, we're not looking for external partners. And I think that can sometimes be misconstrued, because like people see us and like, oh, well, if you guys are always together and you know down for this situation you must be open right and a lot other. of people are and um, they can like be other and people that's do. Just, many people are but that is not our situation and that's something too that you always get to define if you do enter a poly relationship really what that means for you you know I don't think there's any sort of example of one type of poly relationship mm -hmm. I mean poly literally means like many right <laughs> so we met through mutual friends mm -hmm. Renee uh, and there was like interest there to begin with from, from one party. Jacob from, and from the start for me. Um, and I, well, I didn't I didn't know that they were interested, really, was my thing. I can't wait to get in between them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just something I didn't even think about until Renee was the one to, like, tell me that you guys had, had like, had threesomes before. I told her to tell you. Uh, <laughs> Planting seeds. <laughs> like, the way it started with us was, it like, it was sexual. We hooked up. Mm-hmm. 
and then you just didn't leave. And then I just never left. <laughs> Which I don't know why we lived in a really, really it happy was very small. <laughs> I think we all quickly realized this was becoming something more than just you know a one-time thing, clearly, or just mm -hmm. a, just a threesome. Um, but it took us a, a while to finally, of course, say that to each other. Uh, part of that. why it took so long was because we all felt it and maybe didn't even feel the need necessarily to like say something immediately. Agreed. For like fear of like screwing something up. Two people sitting down, one person and being like, Hi, we've been dating for four years now. Mm -hmm. Do you want to join in this relationship? That's a huge amount of pressure. It is. I mean, how did that feel for you when we said that? Leading up to that, I had had just like conversations with my friends who were like, like, what is this? Or, and I was like, well, it's it definitely seems like something more. I know that I feel that, and I like really think that I am getting that vibe from <laughs> them too. We were at my apartment, and you were like, I wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah, we, we had been talking about it. Oh, we um, went to a beach. We had a nice little beach day in Santa Monica, and I was like. So, what's going on with Kenny? And he was like, I don't know, I haven't texted him today. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, no, no. no what what's is going on with this? Kenny? And he was like, I don't know, I think I might feel something for him. And I was like, I do too. Do we say something? And it was a good 30 minute talk. Was that weird? Like, admitting to each other that you... I mean, finally, yes, a little bit. Not necessarily weird, it felt more just relieving and just good to be like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like Kenny a lot more than just mm -hmm. a friend. It would be hard if, like, he would have been like, hey, I feel something for Kenny, and I'm like, hey, I <laughs> don't, me. so don't see Kenny anymore. Like, right. that could have been the turning point. And, and that's right definitely there. scary. Yeah, that was too. a very scary moment. But yeah. it felt finally good to just really kind of put it on the table and say it out loud to each other and you know, just make it, I guess, more definitive and clear, just so we all really were on the same page. I definitely also felt a sense of relief after that conversation of like, okay, well now this is what this is. It has a, it's a thing now that we decided. Right. <laughs> yeah, but even then we didn't slap a label on it. No. You know, we didn't tell everyone, we, we didn't make it Facebook official. We're still no. not Facebook official. No. Can't. There's not <laughs> even a thing. Yeah, can't, can't even a poly, poly with it. It's Facebook. complicated. Yeah. We're Slapping a label on something prematurely can ruin something. And there's no need. We already felt that feeling. There's no reason to also hold up a big megaphone and be like, this is where we are. You know? Well, that was something Jacob made very clear to me too. He's like, if at any point that this is too much for you, you're uncomfortable, he's like, we, we can definitely stop this. But I, because I was feeling feelings for Kenny, it was, it was, I was just in a weird spot and trying to figure out what that meant for me. You know, that was the scariest part for me. And I think what, was the hardest for me to come to terms with was just, it's okay to love more than one person. We want to hear like other poly stories because I want to hear people who like mm -hmm. have different situations than we do. Well, we've been so surprised at how many people have, I mean, Egg's been so supportive, but have talked about their interest in poly, you know, polyamory and, or their just their experience in it. And just, I was surprised at how many people actually out there either felt similar to us or had experienced a similar situation. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to hear more, of course, and. I think I just keep that visibility going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe Which as well. Did. We're gonna do more topics, I think. If you wanna know more, let us know what that is and we'll be more than happy to address it. Bye! 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>